Hi Aquarius, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm going to be doing your reading now for September 25th through October 1st, weekly reading. This is intended to be a love reading. We will see what comes up. I did pre-shuffle these, so I'm just going to shuffle until I'm told to stop. I pre-shuffled all the decks in the middle before I hit record for you. I apologize for the delay for this weekly reading. I took a uh, weekend vacation out of state so um, it was just something that happened it was very much needed and so here is your reading this may or may not resonate because it, it is for hundreds of thousands of people if it doesn't you can check your moon sign or your rising sign Okay, so this is for Aquarius. I'm going to just make sure that is zoomed in good enough. I do apologize for the fan in the background. It is like 90 degrees and humid as hell. And I have to have it on. So, the center of your reading is the Seven of Cups. That is the basis of your reading. So that's the basis of this, week, this week's reading. Choices. Choices, choices, choices. So it looks like you might have some choices to make. One or a few choices to make this week. Okay? And it's probably about your future path. You know, you have to make a choice. It's probably about the next phase of your life. All right? Something you have been resisting. Something that you have just been like, you know, you know you have to make the choice, but you haven't done it yet. And I think this week you might decide to do it abruptly. Okay? So here we have the Seven of Cups. That's about, that says, hold on a minute. Oh, hold on a minute. Think about this. You need to really think what it was, because this is a big choice, whatever it is. So think twice, okay? Because one way you're going to act in love, and in the other way you're going to act in ego. So think twice, okay? That's the basis of your reading. Because the, the cups are love, and inside the cups are possessions. And you only have possessions to feed your ego, or your life, you know what I mean? I mean, we all have an ego. There isn't one person that doesn't. So, don't think it's just you. Okay, so you just have to think twice. Is this what you, is this something that has, is loving? You know what I mean? Just think twice about the decision. Alright, um, the first card that came out is the strength card. That is about um, confidence, grace, charm, um, inner strength, okay? Next to it, we have the magician. That's about awareness as above, so below. It's about listening to your um, intuition. It's about, you know, listening to your spiritual guides, looking for signs, okay? It's also about action. It's also about having all the all the um, tools you need to succeed you you will be successful because you have this oneness with the universe that will allow you to succeed in whatever you put your you know your work into you will succeed succeed um, the third card is the five of wands it's like little tiny bickerments of some sort disagreement strife letting go of it okay so you're letting go of any strife which is great you are you're letting go of some feelings of disappointment that you are because this is the end this is the, the ten of swords this is the completion and it's a thought completion so your any thoughts that were causing you disappointment that you have been resisting letting go I think you are letting go and it's bringing you happiness and it's making you shine. I think it's like you're not sweating the small stuff this week. You're just like letting everything go. You are. 
I think you're becoming more aware of your your new the new uh, chapter upon the horizon. I think something you're going through a change. All right, um, the three of pentacles. That's about things finally are finally happening. You're finally starting to feel more secure with who you are. All right, you're definitely letting go. There's no doubt. You have so many completions here. You are letting go of things that are holding you back this week, okay? We have a completion here. We have a completion here. We have a completion here. Big deal. Three of them. I mean, major, major, major completions, okay? So you're changing. I think you're going through changes. And this week, things are finally starting to happen because of your awareness of who you want to be and what you want and what you're looking for. I think you're not making impulsive choices. You know, that's probably why this came up. You're thinking twice about your choices. You're not being impulsive like this guy because that causes conflicts. This is conflicts, all right? This is conflicts too. You got two conflicts right next to here, all right? I see happiness, I see love. Okay, this is a Gemini. This is a um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have the Knight of Wands, which is, this is a very lusty knight. Okay, he comes in with a whole lot of passion. All right, this is um, a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I consider this a Gemini. This is a Leo. Let's get the next deck and see what we can add on to this. That two of cups, that's that's some kind of love, okay? But there's disagreements and, and um, tension right next to it. So and it, you're letting go. So you could be letting go of some, some kind of loving... Um, now, this can go several ways because this is for hundreds of thousands of people. So some of you could be letting go of somebody even if you were just still mentally attached to them and it's bringing you happiness because you're letting them go and you've resisted it for a really long time. You have. Or some of you, you know, you could have somebody new that there could be a new attraction which could bring a lot of happiness, okay? There could be. You know, because there's a lot of lust here. There is some sexual energy, some sexual attraction here, and some fast moving, okay? It looks like, I mean, somebody could come in very fast, or you could decide to let this attachment go very fast. Eight of Cups, this is letting go. So you could be letting go of something that, somebody that has been, that you've been resisting letting go of. This world card says a new chapter is right ahead of you. Right ahead of you. Be careful what you choose. Be careful. Do you want this new chapter? This is just a lusty presence. You know, it's, it's more about sex than anything with this guy. It is. I mean, I'm just being honest with you. So, and it's more, you know, just saying. This, that's what it is. It's, more, it's a more passionate in and out <laughs> kind of personality. Okay? Um, this right here says you're letting go of something heavy. This is your letting go as well. And this is a new chapter. So you are letting something go. There's no doubt. All right. And this is letting go. This is walking away from something. This is like, I consider this the eight of cups and the five of cups. They're breakup cards. So whether you've been with somebody or not, you're still emotionally attached to somebody. And this is actually letting go of it. it takes a lot of inner strength to do that. And a lot of awareness of where you want to be in the future. It takes that. And a lot of faith. Because this is about faith as well. It takes faith. Ten of coins. Oh my God. You have a lot of tens. A lot of completions. I'm going to get the rest of them before I keep talking. A lot of sexual energy here. That's the karma card. But it says justice. Same thing. Um... Strength again, okay? Strength and strength. <laughs> Takes a lot of strength to let somebody go that you are connected to emotionally. It does. It takes a lot of gentle, compassionate confidence with yourself. 
when you can face your fears and be in control, okay? When you're ready to master your emotions and take out the force, you know, inside of you to own up to who you want to be, to love yourself first. Ace of Pentacles, I mean, Ace of Wands and, and Knight of Wands. Passion, passion, passion. Okay? So you could have a new partnership in a new a sexual partner on your mind. Definitely could be a Leo. And I think you could be letting go of somebody because this new person is all of a sudden, you know, in the picture. And, and this could be somebody that you, you're already with, but you, you know, couldn't let go of them for some unknown reason. All right. Um, couldn't let go of them emotionally. Now, that ten of coins, that's a very comfortable home. It can also be moving. It can be um, changing your home, uh, working on a project together within your home. It could be somebody moving into your home or somebody moving out, you know, because there was some conflicts. I'm not sure. That, however it resonates with you has something to do with a change in your home, okay? Knight of Swords, you have very fast moving, impulsive. Somebody could be, or you, you, because it is the Swords. So it is the Knight of Swords, which could be you, is going very quickly towards another person. Somebody is in a hurry, and that is impulsive, lusty, sexual behavior. Be careful. Be, that's the basis of your reading. This is the main focus of your reading. Be careful what you choose. Think twice for, for what you own owns you. All right, that's what that card means, and that's the basis of this week. We're going to get some of these Romance Angel cards. I may be going over time. I can't see it, and I know I've been talking a lot. The Judgment card says this is karma. It says that you're about to have awakening, a, a, an epiphany, a breakthrough of some sort. Trust. Oh boy. True love. Calling in your soulmate. Express your love. Deception. And one of the cards, I'm not going to put that last one down yet because while I was shuffling earlier before I turned the camera on, this card came out right here and it fell on the floor down. And I looked at it, but I didn't show it to you yet. And I was going to wait and see what, what the reading said before, you know, I, I pulled it out. free yourself that card flew out when I started shuffling deck before they shuffle all the decks for everybody it's time to take back control of your life yeah that's what's happening that is what's happening it is it is congratulations all right trust the situation is calling for you to have faith <laughs> did we not talk about faith earlier faith. You are having faith. I think that you are. You're trusting yourself. You're having more confidence in yourself. I see it. True love. This is the romance of, the, of a lifetime. There's a lot of passion here. There is. There is. Just be careful. Okay? That card says to be careful. No shit. Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. You know it, okay? Keep doing it. It's working. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Perfect. So you need to trust your instincts. If you want to express love, do it. <laughs> can lead to some very passionate times. Seriously. Have faith and trust in yourself. Show your beauty and confidence. The more confident you are, the more beautiful you are. You have the strength twice. And the main message is this, free yourself. But deception, someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. I think that's you. That th This is your breakthrough right below it. 
by holding on to whatever emotion that was weighing you down from the past of not being able to trust somebody or not having faith in somebody or you know or whatever it is that you were holding on to that's a falseness if that's the false self mask it's time to take back control of your life free yourself and that's what this week is about I think that it's a good week for you there could be some um, intimacy <laughs> okay that's what there could be talk to you later